Say that that blue vein side walks. The more red the little vein comes, the entire side walk and all those little stones gone in the gutter in the sea. That is how they wasted your money. But come as a friend, I am here tonight to give my full support to my leader. The Honorable Lester Brian Burr, the next Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Nigeria. Well, my friends, this is a wonderful constituency, but I must tell you some things about it. Three weeks ago, I was in the court, and a man was charged with stealing. Guess what? A lady was in Sutherland's cooking. She was watching her television set, the soap opera, and she was watching TV. When she got up and went to check the pot for food when she went outside, what did she see? The gas cylinder and the gun up there in the side of the gardens of the two. A young lady washed her clothes and went down to town. When she came back, what did she find? Not only her other garments, not only the clothes pin, but the line and all gone. Another three weeks ago, I went over there to a supermarket, a rare sword. I stood. I watched a poor lady came into the shop. It's the first time I have seen an antique and bad with her. A woman putting aside one cent, two cents, five cents, ten cents. Then she went to the counter to pick up some cheese, to the side in, and some biscuits. When she went to the cashier to pay, my friends, she didn't have enough money. So she tried to pick up, tried to pick up the sardine to put it back. I had to say, Madam, please, pay me five dollars. Is that what you want in that bigger spin? Don't you want that money in your pocket so you can make what you want? Don't you want this to pass the public land to make your tax? Don't you understand it? That whenever you go to get to buy chicken, to buy chicken, you're paying tax on that too? Don't you know? Comment. Comment. Let me ask you this question. Most of you go to shop, don't you? Have you ever watched women when they shop in supermarkets? They look at the prices. They put the products in the basket. They push the basket up to the cashier. And they're watching the cash register. They're watching at the check-in. And they're watching at the check-in. They think they're going to put it back. Is that the kind of life you want in Antigua Barbuda? Don't you want a leader who recognizes what is your problem? If you want an Antigua Barbuda, a safe Antigua Barbuda, you must vote for labor. And if you want life better, you have to vote for Lester. Brothers and friends, quite recently heard Colin Derrick, the man described by an expert as the most incompetent individual his work has ever seen to himself. That man can't beat my deputy leader. Can't beat Gaston Bowling in the No way can that happen. That's the whole turn to pieces. But look, I know recently, all of a sudden, he lets you go on the corner. They're going to do this for policemen. They're going to have training for police. They're going to make life better for police. Now, at this last moment, we in the Antigua Labour Party recognize that we have a duty to you to make sure that we make your life safer. So what they're going to do, take it easy, brother. We are going to make sure that we put in every police station outside enough police officers so they can patrol the streets carefully. We are concerned that when tourists come to Antigua, they are robbed. So 
So we are going to put policemen on the beach. And in the night, we will have the army around the hotels to protect the people when they come here. Because tourism is our main earner. So we have got to be concerned. And to help you the people. To help you the people. Not be able to do whenever you import goods and services to protect your homes. We will give you duty free concessions of those. Comments. Comments. These are very serious times. We had our headquarters open on Navy Street. If you drive down now to Newgate Street, you'll see a big sign, UPP headquarters. But because they were in trouble, they moved operations right in Navy Street close to us. That's not all. That's not all. When the Prime Minister had his Christmas festivities, he had it right in front of our owners. A few days ago, they had an opening. What did they do? They ran their flags across the street, right in front of our reporters too. That's not all. They actually painted UPP sign right in front of our headquarters. I'm telling you, do not be afraid of these people. Stand up and fight. We have an election to win. Do not let them intimidate you. They are taking a little part here to stay. If you want to have a better country, go to take a little part. so happy and so living in a slum. Tell me how come? Because you know what I'm about, I'm just stupid as if Since we born until now, I'm going to get to have 70,000 people. We have over 100,000 people, but what do you want to understand? When we come to 100,000 people, there are 25,000 in Liverpool and 75,000 people by a murder. Tell me how come? I mean, guys, if you see that, make good, eh? Yeah! Open the door, come in, come on, come on, come on! All right, then, come up next to talk to you now is the man from Rural South, you know who that is? He is a useless thing, go back! For goodness sake! The people of Rural South say, to have a useless leg, for heaven's sake! with you tonight. 